On a cold November evening, let us enter one of the early Massachusetts homes and see how the people of the 17th century lived. Usually the chief room in the house is the kitchen or the living room. This room is blessed with a glorious fireplace, and in the wall of the fireplace is a brick oven where many delicious things are baked, like brown bread, baked beans, cakes, and golden pumpkin pies. We find the family gathered as close to the fire as possible, for drafts of cold air enter through the chinks between the logs. Oftentimes faces burn while backs are freezing. Stools, benches, and spinning wheels hug the hearth. The boys are whittling teeth for rakes or reels for yarn. The father is reading a book of sermons, while the mother and daughter are spinning and knitting. The room is lighted by burning pine knots called candlewood, which causes the strings of dried apples and herbs dangling from the ceiling to cast strange shadows about the room. The pilgrim dress is simple and sensible. The men wore long coats and breeches reaching to the knee, woolen stockings, and heavy shoes. In the early days, ruffs were worn, but these gave way to the falling collar tied with a white string. The hats were large with broad brims. The gowns of the women were usually made of wool and sensibly short. The bodice was often slashed at the sleeves or shoulders to show the pretty white or colored underwaist. A dainty white cap gave the final touch of grace. Cold as is the living room, the bedrooms are freezing. On these nights, the warming pan is greatly in demand. Live coals are placed in the pan, and then the cover is shut down. Then the warming pan is passed between the bedsheets to take off the chill. Still, nothing can keep out the cold. See the waving golden fields of wheat and corn Pluck and thresh the harvest early in the morn Afternoon and evening work until you're through Rest until tomorrow and then start anew Pick the ripened apples, pack away with care Gather in the corn ears gleaming everywhere Now the fruits are gathered, all the grains are in Nuts are in the attic, corn is in the bin Loudly blows the north wind through the shivering trees There are all the branches, fallen all the leaves Gathered is the harvest for another year Now a day of gladness, Thanksgiving Day is here